The Miracle Life of Edgar Mint, written by Brady Udall and published by Vintage Books, tells the story of Edgar Presley Mint, half Apache, whose most seminal moment occurred at the tender age of seven when he is almost killed by the local mailman. Of this incident, which made the remainder of Mint's life miraculous, Udall writes, If I could tell you only one thing about my life, it would be this. When I was seven years old, the man-man went over my head. As formative events go, nothing else comes close. Resuscitated after having his head crushed under the wheels of the mail truck, Mint embarks on the adventure in which he stoically endures multiple mortifications. He manages to survive these, as he did with his earlier brush with death, as a result of help he receives from a few friends and his most beloved possession, a Hermes Jubilee 2000 typewriter, on which he records his thoughts, fears, and aspirations. Indeed, it is through documenting his existence that his life is given meaning. Udall writes, I typed because I had to. I typed because I was afraid I might disappear. After harrowing experiences that include a stint in Globe Hospital and an Indian boarding school on the Fort Apache Reservation, Edgar finds comfort and empathy in the embrace of a struggling Mormon family before resuming his crest to set things right. Set in Arizona, the state of Udall's childhood, the novel does not paint a wholly attractive picture of his native state, choosing to foreground the heat and desolation of the desert landscape so that the inter- external environment becomes a metaphor for the internal struggles of existence experienced by his main characters. He describes the house in which the novel is set and its surroundings in the following way. It was a typical July day, 10 o'clock and already pushing a 100. The whole world was lit with a painful white light. Our house was particularly vulnerable to the heat because it was covered with black tar paper. There were no shade trees, not even a bush to block the sun. There was an old lightning-struck cottonwood in the front yard, a skeleton of a tree that offered no shade at all, until my mother got in the habit of hanging beer cans from its charged branches with fishing line, which would make a peaceful clanking when the breeze came up but they never did much to keep the house cool. Udall himself, the descendant of Mormon pioneers in St. John's, Arizona, much like Tara Westover, whose book Educated we discussed in an earlier segment of Reading America, likewise graduated from Brigham Young University and later attended the famed Iowa Writers' Workshop at the University of Iowa. Also, like Westover, he is not only an author, but a teacher and a writer of literature, In this darkly comic novel, Udall breaks the bonds of regional fiction to appeal to universal audiences. Considered by reviewers to be a Dickensian odyssey at turns gut-wrenchingly sad and side-splittingly funny, this unusual coming-of-age story speaks volumes about the resilience of the human spirit and the soul's boundless capacity for compassion and forgiveness. One review published in the Guardian newspaper suggests of The Miracle Life of Edgar Mint. For all the occasional unexpectedness of its prose style, plot, and characterization, the atmosphere that rises above Brady Udall's second novel is intensely familiar. Not quite magic realism, its evocations of parched landscapes and out-of-kilter lives offers up an atmosphere that is essentially American. The Miracle Life of Edgar Mint was named a New York Times Book Review Notable Book. So why not decide for yourself by clicking and collecting The Miracle Life of Edgar Mint by Brady Udall from our soon-to-open, wholly refurbished American library.